I don't know how to pronounce anything. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Patreon and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. I had no idea what I was going to do. <laughs> There's just like panic in the eyes. Anywho, you've got special um, access on my Discord server. I've said this about five million times and I still don't know exactly how to say it because I'm old. So please consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. So we're going to go back and listen to some more Ofra Haza. Now I listened to one video of her previously and I think this might be from the same TV show just judging from like the thumbnail um, but I could be wrong. Um, but she had an amazing voice, it was so lovely and resonant so I'm going to go back and listen to another one. Um, and we're going to listen to M Ninalu, which will be pronounced wrong. So please let me know how badly I butchered that word uh, down below. And let's just go and listen to it. That's cool. So they do like an interview in the middle of the room and then they walk over to the stage. I like that setup. Might get that for in here. <laughs> wow. I love that. I absolutely love that. Wow. Okay, so her voice is so resonant that it almost sounds like there's an echo on it. Um, but from the end of that phrase there, um, I couldn't hear like a really uh, prominent echo. So unless somebody's like sitting at a desk and taking it off at the very end, um, which I can't see their, them doing that. Um, her voice is just so resonant. It's crazy. It's just so round and full sounding. Even with a high larynx and a high note, she's still got that round, big, full sound, um, which is harder to kind of get because as you build up, the vocal folds um, stretch slightly, everything thins out. This is not happening in this case. Um, I'm loving the choice of strange notes that she's going on to. I don't know if it's just like the music culture from where she's from that that's like a normal progression to go on to. But to my ear, it's really unusual. Um, but I dig it a lot. Um, okay, let's keep going. Are so beautiful. Mm. <laughs> it's a tiny little saxophone. Is that smaller than an auto? Yes. <laughs> so before she goes on I'm really enjoying the kind of blending of what sounded at the beginning to be very traditional um, it sounded like a like 
one of the oldest songs in the world and they've kind of modernized it and br- brought in like a slap and bass line and a cool sax um, which I believe is maybe mimicking a different instrument um, because I don't think that's what would have been used in traditional music like that but I mean I could be completely wrong so feel free to educate me um, but yeah I'm just liking the blend of uh, traditional and modern together it's very very cool um, all of the little kind of oscillations that she's doing with her voice um, are just perfect they're so clean they are so well balanced um, she's fantastic into English. That was not. Could be that we're using a little bit of reverb here that's making that sound so like what i was thinking was an echo it could just be that frequency that she's hitting on a reverberated sound is making that sound so big it almost sounds like the notes coming through here and then there's this like second wave of like supporting sound um i love it That bar had been. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Oh, for Haza singing that song that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> but boy, did she sing. That was fantastic. I feel like when Oh, for Haza sings, I'm being pushed through the song. Like, it's just such a force. Um, she doesn't necessarily even have to give too much. Her voice is just so big and round and full that you just feel like you're getting kind of carried through. Um, absolutely fantastic. Now, she'll probably have been singing like this for years and years and years and years and years. So it'll be like second nature to her. But to be able to go, ah, like consistently every single time, like perfectly, um, to me is just amazing it's so impressive i love that it's just a tiny little oscillation over the note but it carries so much weight within the song like it's just it jumps out pops at you uh, amazing i just yeah i love this woman she's very very good so i hope you liked that reaction if you did please give it a like and a thumbs up down below and if you want to see more from me hit subscribe <laughs> ring the bell and anytime i have new content you will be the first to know so i guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and how are we gonna buy this one hmm? so i guess all i really can say is bye <laughs>